Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-March readings for all Zodiac signs. And I always say these are general readings, um, I hope they resonate with you, and if they don't, you know what to do with it. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period, so whether you email me or give me a call on the phone, They'll be done in 24 hours, either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. Again, give me a shout if you're interested. I do have uh, tarot card classes available, and I do coach through all of them. So if you want to learn tarot, again, give me a shout. And if you're interested in my mystery healing boxes, uh, small, medium, and large, they're made with seashells, and they're absolutely beautiful. I have the travel box now, too. So again, give me a shout. This reading is going to be for Taurus. See what's shaking with you. Mid March Wow, Taurus, I think that um, you're going to be really careful in who you're engaging with, people around you. I think that you're very, you're attracting a lot of people, but not everybody's on the up and up. Oh, okay. Let's get into this one. My bulls, we have the page of pentacles in the bottom of the deck. And the page comes from your court as well as Capricorn, as well as Virgo. Messenger of the sea here, taste, touch, proof things, money, you know, valuable things, worthwhile things. So let's see how this pertains to the reading here, Taurus. Let's kick this like Bruce Lee. We're going to start off with the Nine of Pentacles. This is the I'm Good Solo card. This person has all the material things that he or she needs Roof over their head, food on the table. You know, they are very independent. This could even be an entrepreneur that's doing pretty well. But this person's looking for the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, loyalty. Those things hold more worth to this person than money. Or just as important. And what's crossing the help or hinder, Taurus, you have the Ten of Wands. Now, this is taking all your experiences, all your know-how, and all those burdens, and going forward with them. And then you get to drop them. Something I think has uh, come through for you, Taurus. And you're more independent. You know, you're more self-reliant, self-efficient. And whatever was burdening you before, you get to drop that. Maybe your self-confidence is back, you know, and maybe something did come in and gave you that boost, you know, financially, and now you're getting on stable ground, you hear my bulls? Turning around. Those burdens, one wand by one wand, you know, drop. Now, this guy gets to drop all ten. But, Taurus, we do things slow and steady, right? We drop them one by one. Sorry, just saying. But it's coming off your shoulders, Taurus. And it didn't come easy. Because in your foundation, you have the five of swords. Now, this is, you know, conflict. This could be some harsh words used. This is somebody, you know, trying to one-up somebody when it all costs. It's like that hollow victory. You know, yeah, you cut somebody down to size, but what did you get out of it? But it's sticking your claim here, my bulls. Sticking to your guns, not backing down. It's kind of like, like when the going gets tough, the tough gets going type thing. And if you're going to come with it, I think you do. 
Now, sometimes it, it can come out as inner conflict, but I don't see you conflicted. I see you staying in it and fighting for it. Maybe your independence. Maybe your coin. Your position. You know, in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of these ships. In Taurus, this could be your energy that you're putting out there or it could be the energy that you're dealing with. Now what's crowning the whole reading here by bulls. You get the seven of swords, the thief. Now there's many ways to depict a thief. They can steal your material things. They can steal opportunities. They steal your name, you know, your reputation. They can steal your heart. This is somebody who ghosts you. This is also the frenemy. The person that smiles right to your face. And as soon as you walk away, they got a knife in your back. This is somebody who spreads your business around. And then acts like, you know, it wasn't them. They like to come in and stir up a bunch of BS. And then leave. But this is somebody who's a coward. Taurus. They don't stand by their convictions. They can stand and fight. They'd rather just take something away and then run off with it. They don't earn things on their own, Taurus, so they take. And that crowning energy right here, my bulls, makes it makes me feel very wary about who's around you. What's their intent? You know, it's kind of like that snake. Wearing a party dress. <laughs> Bad analogy. But I think you are getting noticed. I think you're getting recognition. You know, you're more independent. You're, you've gone through blood, sweat, and tears of putting something in motion. You know, and now it's in motion. You're reaping the benefits of it. Feeling good about it. You're feeling very confident. You know, successful. And that didn't come without a struggle. But you get eyes on you, my bulls. And if somebody, you know, thinks that you're doing so much better, now this could be somebody you've known for a while, a friend of a friend. I mean, put it where it applies. It could go a million directions. But someone sees you doing better than you did before. And now they think they can take something from you. Now, in your recent past, my bulls, you have the Page of Swords, a.k.a. the Spy Card. Now, I always seem to think this is like internet, social media. And again, I see these two things, and somebody's keeping their eye on you. Taurus, they want to see, you know, what you've become, what you've been manifesting. You know, this might have been somebody, you know, who ghosted you. Or you ghosted them. Now, curiosity. Maybe they're hearing things, Taurus. Maybe people are talking. I'm not going to say maybe. People are talking. You know, hey, Taurus is doing great. You know, wow, Taurus has turned it around. And someone's like, oh, really? Let's go check this out. And I really don't feel it's you doing this, Taurus. I feel that your name's getting out there. You know, you're shining. You're shining like a star. You're drawing, you know, positive energy to you. And you've been working on this. You've been manifesting this forever. But not all eyes, you know, are honest. And I kind of feel that, you know, if you've moved on to us in any situation, friendship, partnership, love, career ship, and you decided that you're going to do better by you, and you are. And somebody, because we're in Mercury retrograde, somebody from the past is still in the past. They have not 
you know, progressed. They have not, you know, done better by themselves or for themselves. They're still in the, you know, the crappy situation that they were, I don't know, six months, six years ago, whatever it is. But it were applies. And this is exactly what I'm feeling, that somebody has not done better for themselves. You have, Taurus. And now, you know, the buzz from the bees is, is them coming back being, oh, really? Now, going into your future, Taurus, you have the Eight of Cups. And this is the emotionally walking away. This guy is sipped from every single cup, and guess what? And ain't cutting it. So he goes off into the abyss to find something that is more emotionally fulfilling. It's emotionally detaching, you know, from a certain situation. And again, going back to you've decided to do better for yourself, you know, maybe you have detached from a certain situation. And a friendship, partnership, love ship, any ship. Because you wanted better for yourself. Maybe you wanted more out of life. Maybe you just wanted to put that focus back into you. Make you the best you. However this is, this successful card, you've gone through the crap to get to where you are. And if that takes emotionally detaching from something, you know, to put yourself first here, You had to do it. Not everybody's on board with it, Taurus. Now, how people see you in your environment, they see you as the four of wands. And this is, you know, the marriage card or taking something to the next level. This is about structure. You know, this is building something, a shanty to your castle. It's starting it off the right way. It could be deepening a bond, bringing something to a higher level in a friendship, partnership, love ship. But people look at you like this, Taurus. They look at you, you're stabilizing. You know, you've got your act together. You've got it in control. Because you want things, Taurus. You want better for yourself. You'll strive to get these things. If people look at you like this, Either you're in a stable, you know, relationship, partnership, or your life has been stabilized because you put all the hard work into it. People are noticing it, Taurus. They're noticing it. They're noticing that you have started something that's going to land up down the road, a castle. And in your environment, you have the Six of Wands. Now, this is about, you know, getting accolades, getting props, you know, getting recognition. You've overcome something, Taurus, and you're victorious. You're back to the battle. People see that you're stable now, Taurus, and people see you're getting accolades. You're getting that attention. You worked hard for it. And you're getting exactly you know, what the universe wanted to give you because you put the effort into it. And then you get this sneaky stuff coming around. Wanting to know what the buzz is all about. You're successful. You're independent. You're strong, Doris. You always have been. And now it's your turn to dump these 10 rods Put what you know into practice, something coming in for you, it's turning around for you. Not everybody likes it. And in your hopes and fears, my bulls, you have the hanged man. Now this is about feeling stuck, not going forward, not going backwards, in limbo. But the hanged man sees something in a different perspective here, my bulls. He sees something in a different light. And when he sees something from a different angle, that's what gets him off the wheel. Now, you can always be fearing that everything's going good right now. You know, everything is, you know, good flow. And then you get stuck. I don't think so. 
Taurus, I do believe that this is a hope. That you see something or someone in a different perspective, in a different light. If you've walked away from something, because you had to, because you wanted to work on yourself and do better for yourself, and stabilize your life, and get recognition for this hard work, or this battle that you've overcome, because it's been a battle, it's been a battle. And now people are spying on you. But when they spy on you, it's ill intent to take something that you've worked so hard for. Taurus, be very careful. Keep your eyes peeled. Use your intuition and trust it. If people start coming out of the woodwork, you know, and they're like, hey, you know, props, congratulations, good job, whatever, that's great. But your intuition will tell you who you should be looking at in a different light. Because your outcome card here, Taurus, is the Ace of Wands. Now here's the universe giving you this opportunity to see if you take it or not. It could be a creative endeavor, great. You know, but it's take putting something into motion, putting something into practice, to move on something, Taurus. And the action is to see either people, situations in a different light. Because this person in here is kind of kind of dark or shadowed over. You want to look at something in a different perspective here, Taurus, so you can see who's on your team and who's not. Who's for real and who's not. And if this is somebody that you walked away from because they didn't want better for themselves, this could be a little jealousy because you put the effort in. You're turning it around. And they're still where they were. Right where you left them. Ooh. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on subscribing, uh, liking, sharing my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.